What's going on guys, Darren Ken here, back for another Triple Breakers video, and in today's video, we are going to uh, pretty much speculate what the move set of Goku Black uh, and Zamasu, and pretty much every form of Zamasu that I imagine is going to be in the game. People have asked me how I think uh, Goku Black and Zamasu is going to work. I think it's going to go either of two ways, it's either going to be uh, base Zamasu into base Black into Rosé into Merged, uh, or they could do base black into rosé into merged and corrupted. Uh, that's kind of how I'm thinking, but we'll see uh, what they end up doing. I imagine corrupted will be included some way, shape, or form. I'm hoping he's playable and not just some sort of like uh, ending cutscene where like you lose and like corrupted comes out or something like that. But uh, we'll see. With that being said, uh, I'm going to pull up some YouTube videos of uh, people playing um, both uh, Zamasu and Goku Black and their forms in Xenoverse 2. And see what moves could actually come to breakers because you guys don't know uh breakers does use universe 2 assets and moves are directly pulled from that game sometimes new moves sometimes there are new moves to be fair but a lot of the time there are uh, reused moves so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at some of the move sets all right i'm just gonna move myself over here so you guys can see the name of the abilities and whatnot so uh, we're not really here for uh the basic combos or anything like that we're mainly here for like uh key blast or any super attacks so this, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this is Heavenly Arrow on Zamasu. This could be his Key Blast. I doubt it, but it very well could be. Let's see. Um, so that's Heavenly Arrow again. Could be. Could be a move. I'm not entirely sure. It could be a sort of like Volley-esque type of move that has some tracking. I don't know if that'll be used, but it's possible. Here we have um, God Splitter, I believe. This could be uh, Zamasu Snipe uh potentially i don't know if it's gonna have that long of a charge up when it actually comes over to breakers but um i feel like if any move was going to be a snipe that um god Slayer definitely seems like it absolutely could be i'll see if we can get a look at the uh, shockwave ability so that is the full power charge um that sounds wrong and the first move was god Splitter, then it was shockwave let me actually let me actually back up here give me give me a sec Okay, so I missed it. This was Shockwave. It's just a quick little melee attack. I doubt this is going to be included in Breakers just because we haven't really seen uh, moves like this. So I, I have a feeling God Splitter has uh, the po possibility of being added to uh, Zamasu's move set. Um, that Shockwave move, I doubt it. But God Splitter, Heavily Arrow, I think have a uh, high probability of coming in. Now let's see if we can get an ult. Um, let's see if this guy pops an ult later on. So this is the Key Blast. So yeah, he, he might just have like the regular like uh, ball-based key blast potentially just based on what he has here. Or he could have the arrow-based key blast as well. So I believe this is going to be his old instant severance. So this seems to be like a melee type of super. We don't have um really any melee supers in the game besides like Raccoon Inbreakers. Uh, so that could be interesting, but it seems like he has some pretty, uh, dope looking supers here being heavily arrow and, uh, the God splitter. But for me, honestly, I feel like for, uh, what I think is realistically coming, I feel like the God splitter is probably the most realistic out of all these options. I don't think shockwave is coming at all. Heavenly arrow could come. I, it's, it's kind of still into a volley esque move, but um, I don't really see that being anything crazy. He also has instant rise here. Um, but I imagine they might just give Zamasu a break strike, even if um, he doesn't have it in Xenoverse. So I'm not going to have the game volume on for this one just because uh, there's some commentary for this gameplay. So from my understanding, they added this version of Goku Black when um, Dragon Ball Super was actually airing way back in like 2016 or something like that around this time, or maybe it was 2018, I forget when uh, Super was airing. But they uh, dropped uh, Goku Black, and I think uh, this is before uh, Sean Shemmel was even doing like the British stuff. He had like a very deep voice that was like kind of looming. But um, I don't know if honestly any of these moves will be brought over to Breakers just because they are so uh, simple. And I'm quite honest with you, at least based on what this guy was commentating, they seem kind of rushed. I think they kind of just want to t uh, take and capitalize on the fact that goku black was a new character and whatnot so this would be his break strike um i think uh this guy was complaining that um a lot of his moves didn't fit that pink aura for some reason 
But uh, yeah, in terms of melee attacks, we don't really got to worry about that. But let's check out uh, the ultimate here. So this is the Black Kamehameha. Again, it might not look like this because this isn't even really what a Black Kamehameha even looks like. Um, again, this, vari uh, this variant of Goku Black was added pretty much as Goku Black was introduced as a actual character in Dragon Ball Super. I guess Universe 2 at the time when they capitalized on the hype of the character. So unfortunately, there's not really too, too much to analyze here just because I don't even think like canonically a lot of these moves are even going to be brought over uh, not only like in general for Goku Black, but just like for breakers. So uh, let's take a look at the next form of uh, Goku Black here. All right, so this is Rose. Goku Black, uh, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black in parentheses as they have it. So this guy was kind of just um, showcasing uh, the moves here. Um, again, we don't really need to know the melees as much, but it does look really good. You know, I got to give uh, Xenoverse 2 props. Some of these moves look great. So this is very interesting. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me this, that um, Goku Black actually has access to instant transmission. I don't know if they'll actually give him instant transmission and Dragon Ball The Breakers, but that would be crazy. That would be crazy because this would be the first raider that would be able to keep up with survivors using their own forms of um, instant transmission, right? So that could be very, very interesting. Unless they just make it like his break strike or just instant transmissions. But I feel like it would be interesting if he could use it as an instant uh, actual move. So that might have been a move there that he used. Uh, I don't know if that's like divine retribution or what I, I don't know i'm not too familiar with the xenoverse 2 move guys so you can like help me out the cons below by all means i doubt it's sudden death beam so that might be the divine uh, retribution move there um that might be yeah i think that's the sudden death beam um i don't really see that being used in breakers they could make it a more like chunky beefy move that could be some sort of a snipe uh the divine retribution move would be interesting but uh that could be maybe an active skill Maybe. We have we have seen some melee-based active skills like on Raccoon and Broly. So it would be nice to get um, some more um, active skills that are melee-based as opposed to range. So that's going to be his Break Strike. Just uh, the pink Break Strike there. Now let's see uh, the Divine Lasso. So this is going to be Divine Lasso. I think uh, this is really dope because, again, we really don't have that many melee supers in the game. I think Raccoon is honestly one of the only of uh, characters if i'm not mistaken that has a melee super i don't even think broly does he only has like active uh melee uh, based abilities so this uh super i feel like has to be included it would be a damn shame now what i'm curious about is if this would start off as a melee based move or if this would be a range thing where he shoots off the blades and then when he lands then he finishes it right so this is the black kameha and this is more of what you would recognize in terms of a black kameha now, this could be area destruction. This could be uh, just a sniping ability. It's very possible they might just bring over the Vine Lasso and um, the Black Kamehameha. But I have a feeling this is probably going to be uh, Goku Black's area destruction. And honestly, it could just be his, uh, his area destruction for base Black as well. But maybe they'll change it up. But uh, he's very swaggy here, which is really dope. And um, I just blanked out on what the name of the move is. But... This is the name of it. And Divine Lasso. Divine Lasso is probably the sickest thing that uh, Goku Black does in terms of combo-based things. But having a melee-based super would be very cool. But in terms of the move set, I believe that is it. Oh! It's also showing off Zamasu. Okay, so we can get to see Zamasu a little more as well. So yeah, this is the, the Heavenly Arrow. That's his grab, which is interesting. But yeah, I feel like uh, if all of Zamasu's moves, I think God Splitter uh, has the most likely chance of coming to the game. Uh, Shockwave, I doubt it. He Heavenly Arrow has an opportunity. Uh, let's check out um, the Severance move again. That's dope. That is pretty dope. Okay, uh, with that being said, let's just move over to uh, Bird Zamasu. And then um, I think we'll check out Corrupted. I think Corrupted is like a raid boss. And Xenoverse 2, but he's not exactly playable. So let's check that out as well. Alrighty, so this is going to be Fuse or Murd Zamasu here. And that was Blades of Judgment, which could be a devastating move in Breakers. Like, pretty much a volley. Um, or it could be... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much just a volley. A volley-based move. that just um, just a spam of Key Blast. Uh, that is Holy Wrath. I could easily see that being a snipe. Easily see that being a snipe. 
I'm really curious to see uh, how... Oh, you could charge it and make it bigger. If they make that a thing in Breakers, that'd be really dope. There's not really too many... Ooh, that, that is fire. Lighting of Absolution is really fire. I'm curious how that would work in Breakers. That is, like, kind of the first of its kind, like, a tracking move like that. You know what they might do, actually? You know what they might do? You know how, like, Broly Super and, like, uh, Kid Boo Super... Let me just... Let me just pull up in Breakers so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so you guys know uh, Broly's Blast or Meteor, how it's sort of an AoE move that kind of, like, uh, attacks the whole uh, field. And same thing with Kid Boo with his uh, Assault Rain attack. I feel like that is potentially what they might do uh, with um, Lightning of Absolution. It's possible. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys would rather if it's, like, more um, similar to the Xenoverse counterpart. Would you prefer it um, as it works here in Xenoverse, or would you prefer it to be like an AoE type move? I have a feeling they're going to do the AoE route, but uh, honestly, it would be dope. This is the Vine Wrath Purification. So, uh, that, you know, could easily be area destruction. Honestly, I would not be surprised. But if that's the case, I'm really curious what his super attacks would be, because uh, Versa Monster surprisingly doesn't really have that many super attacks, unfortunately. Um, I think it's very possible that those other skills that we're looking at could be active skills. But in terms of super attacks, it looks like he only has the one, uh, surprisingly. But, um, Blades of Judgment. So this is, uh, Holy Wrath. Yeah, Holy Wrath I could see being a us type skill. That could honestly be one of his super attacks. Then where was, um, Blades of Judgment? Yeah, Blades of Judgment probably... Honestly, that might be... These might be his two supers. I'm thinking that Blades of Judgment might might be one of his supers. And then Holy Wrath might be one of his... Um, either his... His Holy Wrath, I'm not going to lie, looks like Divine Wrath. I mean, I, you know, it's the same name. So this could be Area Destruction. And then Lightning of Absolution might be his other super attack, is what I'm thinking. All right, uh, last but not least, we will have um, Corrupt as a Masu to look at. This is going to be a little different just because he's a raid boss, so we'll see uh, what we can look at in terms of gameplay from him. Uh, just give me one sec. Mm, all right, this is Corrupt as a Masu. Huge shout-outs to uh, Gogeta and the community for uh, setting this gameplay over to me so we can see uh, the move set here. So it looks like this first move, uh, I imagine, is Light of Judgment. That seems kind of crazy. That could be a snipe. I believe that's the Celestial Hammer. That could be like a Raccoon Kick type move. Or like a Broly Charge type move. Alright. Uh, that might be this. I don't know if that's the... Okay, that's the Flames of Retribution. Actually. I'm not entirely sure. Again, you guys would have to let me know in the comments below. Because that just looks like a Break Strike. So I'm assuming that's the X move. But I could absolutely be wrong on that. This might be the Spiral uh, con Condemnation. Sorry. And then let's see uh, the Supers if we can. That one seems pretty interesting. That seems like a pretty interesting move here. These are the melee combos. Let's see if we can uh, get a Super in here. He even has a Super. I hope he does. Does he not? It's a grab. Does Corrupted not have a Super? Uh, I'm gonna ask Gogeta if he does, but in terms of, like, what moves I foresee being moves here, Celestial Hammer could be an active skill, so it's like for King Kick or Broly's Charge. This move, I imagine, could be, uh, like a Break Strike. And then the Flames of Retribution, um, it could be an active skill. I don't really see any, like, supers when I see any. Actually, you know what? This one is probably a super, if anything. The Light of Justice. I can see that being a snipe. But let me see if there's any supers on Corrupted. Ah, uh, from my understanding, there is not. So let me double check, just in case. Alrighty, so clarifying with Gogeta. Unfortunately, uh, Corrupted Zamasu does not have any ultimates or, um, I guess, super attacks that we would, like, say, in Breaker. So that's a little disappointing. So with that being said, I feel like the uh, the supers that'd be most uh, realistic, or supers that would be active skills, um, I feel like a light of justice. I could easily see this being a sniping attack. 
Um, so Steel Hammer could also be another active skill, similar to like a Raccoon Kick or like a Broly's Charge. And then uh, the Spiral of uh, Condemnation, uh, which I believe is this move, like the three tornado looking things. That could be another active skill. I'm not sure. They might not use that one. Uh, but this one, I imagine, would be a break strike. And unfortunately, that's really everything he has. But let's uh, take another look at all the rest of the guys, just to like, do like a final thoughts type thing. So this Divine Wrath um, Purification move, I could easily see this being a uh, air destruction based move or um, a super attack. But it's very similar to this Holy Wrath ability. I think what's interesting about this Holy Wrath ability is that it can be charged. So I'm honestly hoping they uh, bring over that property. Lightning of Absolution, I have a feeling will be um, like an AoE type ability that we've seen before on like the other characters. Key Blast would be the normal ball based Key Blast based on what they would show here. And then he has a, a charge ability that's not really going to like do anything in Breakers. Uh, Blades of Judgment, I feel like would just be a volley based move, which might be one of his supers. And then Holy Wrath would be a uh, snipe. And then um, his ultimate ability honestly just might be area destruction. I get, I get easily seeing this being area destruction, but let's uh, look the other guys one more time. So here we have uh, Divine Lasso with Goku Black coming out. Uh, this could be a super. Um, I imagine it'd be a super. I doubt it'd be an active spell. I hope it wouldn't be. Um, that is the Black Kamehameha. And uh, we can look at uh, Zamasu, uh, base Zamasu as well. So that is the Heavenly Arrow. That could be one of his active skills. I think this God Splitter ability is probably the, uh, the most likely candidate in terms of like a snipe or a super attack and whatnot. I doubt that Shockwave is going to be used. And I'm curious if this is going to be um, an ult on him and Breakers. I'm very curious because it would be our first uh, melee one besides like Raccoon. Uh, but let's see if we can get any look at uh, Goku Black's uh, supers in Xenoverse that could be active skills. So again, he has instant transmission, which could be very, very interesting um, as a raider because it would be the first of its kind. In terms of traversal, the best raiders at traversing are um, uh, Broly with his charge and then Raccoon with his uh, charging super, right? So that move, I honestly really want to see, to be honest with you, this sun and death beam. I really don't see how that would be used. But I think uh, in terms of the most interesting movesets, I feel like uh, Merge Zamasu honestly has the most going on. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it in terms of the predictions for uh, the, you know, the Raider for Goku Black and Zamasu. Let me know in the comments below what you uh, guys think in terms of moves could be added to the Breakers. I think we'll see a lot of original moves probably using the Xenoverse assets just because at least on base Black, a lot of those moves, I think, are just game original because they kind of just had to, like, pull from the dome since they didn't really have that much to work with at the time. Also, this was the um, V-Jump scan that uh, came out the other day. It was officially released, I believe, so that's why I'm showing it to you now. So there is the Wii skin. There is the Ramen coin. There is the transfer of Full Prowler um, Super Saiyan Broly doing a uh, Mouth Beam type move. And there is the transfer in the top left, and that is his art. Um, his eyebrows look a little funky, look kind of thick. But uh, also, you guys can see what I was talking about. Uh, I see, yeah, you can barely see it. Let me get a better uh, visual on it. So if you look closely in the bottom, like where I'm pointing right there, you'll see uh, a green and red text that uh, the kanji for that is them in Japanese. So, you know, I think it's pretty obvious where the game is heading, which is why I did... Um, this video and whatnot so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys next time uh again comment down below what you guys think is going to be uh the moves for uh goku black and zamasu and uh subscribe when they eventually come out and i'll catch you guys next time take care safe have fun peace out dude